I want to make this VR to the media tag. This tag was created by Chanel Days. And a lot of people have participated in this tag. There are a lot of amazing VRs already made to this tag. And I watched quite a few of them. And finally, I decided that I'm going to do a VR as well. I will put a link to Chanel Day's video, the original video in the description box. I will also put all the prompts. There are 12 prompts. I will put them in the description box of this video. You probably have already watched at least one or two VRs to this tag. It's a very popular one for a good reason as well. It's like a check-in for half year and let's jump right into it. The first prompt says, deck you have used the most this year. The deck that I have used the most this year is Serpent and the Peacock Tarot, the art version. This deck came to my collection exactly a year ago. So last year in July, I think. I use it so much that I have it in a pouch so that I don't have to open the box. The guidebook is amazing. These are the gorgeous backs and using this deck is a very joyful experience to me because of the tactile experience of it. It's amazing. It's like, I don't know what this cardstock is. It's not too thin. It's not too thick. It's not too buttery and rose petally. The gilding is incredible. It's that high quality matte gold gilding. I love the backs. And I am a big fan of, um, let me zoom in a little bit. I am a big fan of medieval art and medieval decks. And this deck has it all. It is a collage, like the creator has uh, collaged um, all these medieval art and added some elements to it, like swords and pentacles and wands and cups and other stuff. But this deck reads so well. With the guidebook and without the guidebook. In the guidebook, it explains about each painting, where it comes from, a little bit about the story. Also explains about the card, what the creator meant. It's a gem. This deck is an absolute gem in my collection. I enjoy shuffling it. I enjoy just going through it pulling one card, pulling 10 cards, using spreads and without spread, put it on my altar. I have used it so much this year. This is definitely my most used deck. And it's so nice when you, when you start to know all the cards, when you remember the messages you got from each of these cards the last times that you read with it, when you start to recognize all the details and their significance there's just so much in this deck it is also very like kind of busy in the most beautiful way and oh, look at this high priestess it's just amazing this uh, did cost me a, an arm and a leg because i shipped it from us from the uh, creator's website and I ended up paying for shipment and import tax $70 <laughs> on top of the 70 something dollars that this deck costs. But I have to tell you, I'm still super happy. I still think it was worth it. So this was the most used deck in 2024. Prompt number two, a new deck that came into your collection. This prompt is not asking about the newest deck that came into my collection. So I did not choose the newest deck. I chose a new deck that came into my collection that is very special. This is the Old Ways Magic Oracle by Naomi Cornock. The creator is based in the UK. This is an indie oracle deck. And the cards are quite large comparing to your standard tarot card. This is the size. This is a very special deck. It is very shamanic. It reminds me of the psychedelic experience, big time. Like it takes me there. 
and the cardstock is amazing it's a um, I don't know it's maybe a type of a linen I love the colors and the depictions it is very personal to me like I can never read with this for another person look at this it is very spiritual it takes me to that world <laughs> to that realm that I have been many times that is impossible to describe it's impossible to put into words I don't want to read the guidebook it comes with a little guidebook I have not read the guidebook I'm afraid it will ruin it for me so look at this I think this is a very underrated oracle deck I think everyone who has ever had a psychedelic experience should try this one This realm exists somewhere. If you have been there, this will take you there. Wild mage. So, yeah, this was a very special deck that came to my collection and I have used it in um, different situations for different occasions I just cannot put it into words the old ways magic oracle the third question most anticipated deck that was released this year for me it was the Nemeth Tarot by Honasa House I have a flip through of this deck a beautiful uh, video <laughs> I think it's a very joyful video because I have put a really nice music on it I was looking forward to receive this deck for a few months Neha over at Dark Fate Tarot told me about it um, I think in February she said a new Honasa House deck is coming out and you should pre-order it if you want it so I went and pre-ordered it because you can't see any pictures like there was nothing to see <laughs> I didn't know what I'm gonna get I knew it's gonna be amazing because of the creator but I wasn't aware even how this is <laughs> going to look and I was really looking forward to receive it and it took a few months until I received it so yeah I was really looking forward to receive this beautiful gorgeous tarot that is the cards are also really incredible the cardstock I have worked with it a few times I have read with it it works like a charm it reads really well it is very intuitive and I don't have the guidebook or the PDF there wasn't a, there was not a guidebook when I bought it there was no guidebook available but I think there will be or maybe there is and I'm not aware of I cannot keep up with all this <laughs> information all the time but uh, please guys if there is already a guidebook or a, like a PDF please let me know I would definitely want to obtain that one so this was the most anticipated deck of 2024 the Nemeth Tarot and the flip through video of it will be in the description box next question biggest disappointment okay I really did not have a huge disappointment I just received the Ferdinando Crepa from El Menigelo what did disappoint me about this gorgeous tarot is the cardstock like this cardstock is paper surprisingly it shuffles well like the riffle shuffle is really good so I don't know maybe this is still okay paper like um, it does riffle shuffle but I'm afraid that it will break at some point so I'm not going to riffle shuffle it 
but uh, look at this like it doesn't snap back even see I don't want to damage it but it does not snap back well, like it does get the bent very easily and then you have to bend it backwards I was disappointed because it's El Menegelo. I do love everything else about this deck, of course. This is Ferdinando Crepa, 1978. So this is his famous style that he introduced to the world, right? It's really cool. I love the 70s vibe of this deck and the color palette, these greens and everything else about it. The faces are really cool. Everything about this deck is amazing, but the cardstock is I was really disappointed because this is El Menegelo. I was just expecting something more decent okay the biggest surprise the biggest surprise guys is a deck that I just received and I also made an unboxing and a test test drive of it review video with flip through of all the cards and reading a part of the guidebook and everything this is a mass market deck created by Schiffer the author is Laura Perry and the illustrator is Ellen Lorenzi Prince and because of her because of Ellen Lorenzi Prince I bought this deck knowing that I would really dig the art style the paintings basically but I did not expect anything more because I have not heard about this deck, like none of my favorite channels have ever talked about it. So I didn't think it's a special deck, except for I would like to learn a little bit about the Minoans. But everything about this deck blew me away. First of all, one of the things that I really like is pointy corners. And this deck comes in pointy corners. The cardstock is amazing. This is the size, so it's like a, a centimeter maybe wider and taller than your standard tarot deck. The cardstock is glossy, but not too thick. Although it is glossy, it's not thick at all. It has the perfect thickness. I love glossy cards. I love the shape, the, the way it feels in my hands. I love the backs. The color, the way it feels in my hands, it's like a high quality indie Marseille deck. And it is a pip deck, color coded, so all the pips are color coded. The cups have blue backgrounds. The labrises, which is the ones, have this brownish yellow backgrounds. And the horns, which is the suit of earth, have this green background and the daggers here. The daggers, which is the suit of air, have the red background. So the suits are color-coded. It is perfect for reading elementally and numerologically, which I really enjoy. And let me just show you all the cards. I'm going to show you all the cards. And I will explain more. So the thing that really surprised me about this deck is also the guidebook. The guidebook is written so well. It not only teaches you about the Minoan uh, period, era in the history, which is like 2000 years before Christ, but also the way it gives you the message of each card, the point of view is beautiful I love shuffling this deck I love how it feels in my hands I love the depictions of course like I just bought it because it was mass market and it was Ellen Lorenzi Prince that's it and I was so surprised to see that it has so many <laughs> amazing aspects Like everything is good about this deck and it's different than any deck that I have and I have like I can tell you I have like I've had till now like 300 350 tarot decks I've worked with more than 300 tarot decks in my life 
and I have a very eclectic taste so I've seen a lot and when I'm telling you this one is really good believe me <laughs> this is a good one I am so surprised and I love it when this happens like when you are not expecting much and then you're taken by surprise like this you know I'm so happy that I have it it's a perfect find and I really recommend you guys get it because it is mass market if you're into pip decks try this deck okay so this was the surprise and I will put a link to that video that I have made about this deck it's a proper test drive about this one and I will read from the guidebook as well oh I have done also pairings with six different oracle decks and the pairings are also very interesting so check that video out it will be in my description box deck crush the deck crush of this year i have a few crushes but if i really have to choose one it will be taroki 23 by gergali bagamari so this deck was published in 2023 last year but i received it this year big crush big so here this is the type of format that i really enjoy with the sharp corners the oof, i don't know how to explain this even to you guys the cardstock the biggest crush is on the cardstock and i cannot even explain how the cardstock is it is very matte and soft and high quality love the color palette love the images everything look at this helmet one of the favorite cards of the year for me everything all the faces everything that is happening this reads in such an interesting way and it's so chatty it has a lot to say so much fun look at these two like I've had in a few readings these two came like this the expressions in the faces this temperance is also one of my favorites look at her foot and her face expression the color palette pink hairs and everything I am so happy I mean look at this <laughs> I am so happy with this deck I love Gurgali's uh, work all of his decks I am planning to get all of his decks like everything he produces I'm a big fan and he's such a nice guy So Taroki 23 by Gergali Bagamari is the crush, crush of the year so far. Let's see if any other deck can beat this one because we still have another five months to go. Favorite tarot card. I received this deck literally yesterday and this card became the favorite tarot card of the year or of half year this hermit do i even need to explain why just please look at everything the green on the ground also look at his face this is the taroko pirmantes by el minigelo and i have filmed the unboxing of this deck and two other decks that i received yesterday i have not published it yet when it is published i will put a link to it in the description box of this video i all of a sudden decided to make this video and publish it immediately because i am very late to the party that's why it will be published before the videos that i have already made okay next a deck that makes me happy a lot of my decks make me really happy 
this is really difficult for me to choose. Even in the half of the 2024, I've had like 20 decks that made me so happy that I cannot even describe. So I just had to choose one that was published in 2024 and I received like two months ago, which is the Rainbow Tarot. This is the mass market edition. I did not have the India edition. And look at all this <laughs> cold foiling on the box. The box is really cool. So this deck was published by Chronicle Books. I was so happy when this was released, mass market. The guidebook is actually very nice. Look at it. You get a full page for each card, even for, for the miners. It's written so well and then colored as well. So even the guidebook makes me happy. Look at the holographic edging and the backs. I chose this one because it makes my inner child very happy. I love this color palette. Not only I love the color palette, the colorfulness and the fact that each card has a different color palette, yet they all marry so well. It looks beautiful in a spread. Not only that, but also the faces make me very happy. The faces take me back to my childhood big time, to the happy moments of my childhood. Look at the faces. Can you see the faces of these two? So, above everything else, above all the qualities that this deck has for me, are the faces. And the cardstock is amazing. It, also, riffle shuffles like a dream. This is a perfect deck. It's so good. It's so underrated. I know it is famous, but I think it's still underrated for all the qualities that it has. I just wish there were more boys in it because it's mostly girls. I love her face. I do have a video already published. <laughs> this one is already published. Um, it's the review of this deck in less than 10 minutes. I think that's the title of the video. I will put a link to that video in the description box too. If you want to take a look at the guidebook and everything, if you want to get more information about it, take a look at that video. So this one was the one that makes me happy. Okay, most beautiful deck this year. This is one of the most beautiful decks that was published this year. The Jupiter Tarot by Six Sad Girls. Jupiter Power Tarot. The guidebook is, the guidebook is also beautiful because all the poetry. The guidebook is a gem. This is Charlie Quintero, the author. And look at this deck. Look at the gilding. This is glossy, which I love. Really high quality cardstock. And just look for yourself. This has all the different shades of greens, purples, blues, basically, and grays. But if you don't consider gray, black, and white as color, then this is a very limited palette of blues, greens, and purples. But look how tastefully 
this is done. This is the most fashionable tarot deck that I have ever seen. This is pure fashion. I love the artwork, not just the color palette. I love this artwork. I love this temperance. I actually wanted to choose this one as my favorite card of the year. But then I thought, let me show a different deck for each prompt. I did bring in a lot of decks this year. But I don't regret it because each one of them is a masterpiece. I'm so happy with every single one of them. So this is the beautiful Jupiter Power Tarot. Look at these edges. It's so edgy, the whole deck. I love it. It makes me feel like I'm really hip and cool. Okay, next prompt. What deck do you want by the end of the year? I do want quite a lot of decks by the end of the year because the end of the year is my birthday and I always make a wish list. One of the decks that I am definitely going to get this year is the Vampire Tarot by Robert M. Place because I have been wanting that deck for a long time. I've been waiting to find a nice and clean copy with a relatively low price but it's impossible that deck has its own price it has been out of print for years it is a precious <laughs> tarot and i decided that this year i'm just gonna get it if it's too expensive then that's gonna be the only deck for my birthday but i am going to get that deck this year and it makes me happy every time i think about it so the vampire tarot by robert m place number 11 which deck hasn't been used yet but you want to work with this year that is the Le Tarot Celtic by Laura Tuan I have this deck for some time now for years many years and I never used it because it is a very specific system it's a very unique system and the guidebook is in French and I never had the time on the other hand I really want to be able to read with this deck because I have not even tried it once and I would really it will make me feel good I think it's an egoistic thing I don't care <laughs> But I think, uh, yeah, just being able to read with this deck will make me feel very special. That's very sick <laughs> from spiritual uh, point of view, right? I'm aware of that. But I just like this deck so much. And it's color-coded. The suits are color-coded, as you see. I love this cardstock. This is the highest quality um, watercolor paper. The paper that they use for watercolor paintings you have of course different grades so this is the like the among the highest qualities of those papers and it feels incredible and it has a texture which makes it really nice makes it feel really nice in my hands it's such a special deck I love it who has this deck and who reads with it please let me know is it too difficult like how much time of course I have to translate the guidebook but if you have done it if you have translated it with a with Google Translate please let me know if you worked with it or if you're French if you understand French please tell me is it worth it even <laughs> Because I am very busy and I have a huge list of all the guidebooks that I want to read and master. This is not the only one. I'm just wishing, I'm just hoping that I can do this by the end of this year. Because this is a very special deck. Favorite video I made is the last prompt. I made a video recently 
and it is a tag as well it's called OOP unapologetic I will link it in my description box because I want to see your out of print decks I think we are very apologetic about showing out of print decks for a reason as well but I just wanted to create this tag so that people will be motivated to show their out of print decks and I really invite you guys even if you have one out of print deck you don't have to have many even if you have one you can make a video about that one and tag it so that we can find it and we can watch it I think all the decks that I have shown in my video most of them are easy to find and most of them are not expensive most of them and nowadays the decks that are available <laughs> some of them are more expensive than out of print decks just because we do not get to see them we do not get introduced to them we don't buy them you know what I mean yeah like I've bought many out of print decks for $30 $40 and if I was not being introduced to them through tarot tube I would not have them I have them now I love them I enjoy them and I bought them cheaper than the decks that are available nowadays so please watch that video it will be linked in the description box and please if you have any out of print decks make a quick VR it doesn't have to be a complicated video but please show us your out of print decks so this is it this is my VR to beautiful Chanel also make sure that you watch her original video that is linked in my description box there will be a lot of links in the description box of this video thank you so much for watching if you like my videos and have not subscribed yet i invite you to subscribe to see more i have already made a lot of videos in my channel many reviews flip throughs unboxings and a lot of vrs and tags as well so thank you very much for staying with me to the end and i hope to see you in the next one